Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm Lolly Stardust and I post videos about my David Bowie collection. And today I'm bringing you the third part of my David Bowie books. Um, if you haven't seen part one or part two, I'll link those videos down below so that you can go ahead and watch it. But first, I want to show you three more David Bowie books that I have here. So these books are basically the books that were missing from my previous videos. And the first one that I have to show you today is this one. This is Labyrinth. It's a book that came out after David Bowie's passing back in 2016 and basically what happened is that this Brazilian book publisher called Darkside decided to release two different books that were somehow David Bowie related so that they could pay a tribute to David Bowie. So this is one of them, Labyrinth, and the other one is this one. This is The Man Who Fell to Earth and um, I got both of them together uh, back in 2016 and when I did I even decided to do a video um, about them so uh, I'll link those videos that I made um, about these books for you to watch because I show them more in depth like uh, what they look like inside but either way I'm going to talk a little bit about each one of them today so starting with Labyrinth this one is made to look like the book that Sarah has uh, in the movie Labyrinth. So um, you can probably remember that she has this book. It's only a little bit smaller uh, than this one, but the design is like um, exactly the same. So that's a really nice touch. And another thing that's really, really nice is that it comes with this uh, special bookmark that includes this scene from Labyrinth. So um, the cover is hard and it's even textured and inside you can read the story. Uh, the story that you can watch when you watch the movie. So I can, I guess I can say that this book is based on uh, the movie. So it even includes some illustrations. Uh, it's very, very special, but you can see this a little bit better if you watch my video that I made on this book. And um, the other one is The Man Who Fell to Earth. And again, it includes a very special bookmark that you can see here. So it's all about David Bowie and paying a tribute to Bowie. Uh, the back cover looks like this. Um, this book publisher is very famous for um, adding high quality to uh, their editions and the art artwork is amazingly well done. So these books are in Portuguese, but I would say that they are worth getting even if it's just for the looks of it because they are indeed very, very well made. And um, this one, The Man Who Fell to Earth, is more like the story. It doesn't have a lot of illustrations, but again, you can see it better if you watch uh, my video on this book. And the last book that I have to show you today is the one that I'm actually most proud of. And the reason why I am very proud of this book is because it includes an article that I wrote. Um, this book also came out, obviously, after David Bowie's passing. So uh, it's called Starman. Fans Say Goodbye to David Bowie. This book came out in 2017, but back in 2016, this uh, book publisher from Texas was looking for uh, stories and uh, uh, information that fans could tell them about uh, why they loved David Bowie so much, and um, they were going to select different articles and artwork even from different people from around the world and I guess it was based on creativity and uh, how interesting the stories were and how well uh, the, um, people could uh, write about David Bowie and say what why they loved him so much and what David Bowie meant uh, in their lives so I attempted to um, add my story and uh, uh, talk a little bit about why I love David Bowie so much and even add my own artwork uh, to it. So um, one of my hobbies is drawing. I, I've i always loved uh, drawing very much. I'm an architect, so it's also part of my uh, job, I would say. But I, I've drawn David Bowie many, many times and it's one of the things that I, I just love to do. So I sent them my article where I talked about uh, what David Bowie means to me, basically. And I also sent them my drawing that I had um, 
I had done uh, that same year, right before David Bowie's passing, coincidentally. And uh, I just knew that I had to send them uh, that artwork and also my article. And here, here's what it looks like. Um, you can see this better if you go to my Instagram page. I um, posted about this book uh, over there so you can even read the complete text and you can see my artwork better. I basically uh, drew his eyes. Um, the scene that you can see if you watch the Life on Mars uh, video clip. And um, I'm very proud that my article is featured in this amazing book where people from around the world really tell their story um, and um, they, they say what David Bowie means to them. Some of the stories here are very, very moving even. Uh, people talk about David Bowie saving, saving their lives somehow, so um, it's, uh, it's also very well made. It's super high quality, the artwork is beautiful, and uh, maybe you know this book, maybe you have this book, or even maybe you also uh, contributed with an article for this book. If you did, you can let me know um, in the comment section down below, and go to my Instagram if you want to read the complete article. And also, I would like to say that I'm thinking about um, doing a video where I answer your questions. So if you have any questions for me, you can uh, leave your question down below in the comment section and um, I'll answer your question maybe uh, next time. You can also follow me on Instagram and send me a question over there for my next video. Thank you so much for um, being here and watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed already, please do if you like my content. And I'll, I hope to see you guys again very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye, everyone.